Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to these uh, river cameras that we have on the Mara River here in Kenya. My name is Steph Winterpool, and have a look at this fantastic animal behavior that we have. Those are obviously hippo, and in the water is a dead wildebeest. Now, these wildebeest die during the migration, crossing the river, either through drowning or just through crocodile kills. And it's not an uncommon thing to read about or hear about hippo eating off of carcasses, but it's a very rarely filmed or documented occurrence. And I'm hoping that this hippo starts to actually feed on this carcass. Right now, it's just showing a lot of interest in it. And because hippo are such gregarious animals, any interest that they show quite often attracts the interest of others. And you can definitely see that this hippo is taking more than just a cursory investigation at this, uh, at this carcass. It's difficult to say whether or not the carcass is, is open. And I'm wondering if we are going to see these hippo actually open the carcass. As far as I'm aware, this is quite rare behavior. It's not stuff that you see often. You can see that that mouth opening display that that hippo is doing, it's not a laugh or a smile. That's actually that hippo's agitation showing through. I can't imagine that something dead and smelly for a herbivore is anything but a little bit, um, I suppose, it, 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 it'll generate some anxiety in an animal. It's not a scavenger. They don't get excited by it. Just have a look. Now, for those of you who didn't know, hippo are herbivores. They eat mostly grass with a few water weeds and mostly coarse grass as well. Very good at digesting grass, but for many years it's been recorded that hippo will feed off of carcasses. They will feed on carrion. And at times we've actually seen hippo coming to almost it looks like they're coming in to rescue wildebeest and topi and zebra from the mouths of crocodiles. I just think it's them reacting to the excitement of the, uh, of the moment. But this, is def this, this carcass has been here since yesterday. And this young hippo, that's the one on the left-hand side, has now been joined by a slightly older hippo, the one on the right-hand side. And I'm wondering if they're going to try and feed on this carcass. Going around to the other side, it be uh, chewing on the horn there. It is just such weird behaviour. Myself and James were going through a couple of scientific papers of hippo the other day, and one of the papers that we read was actually about hippos eating meat, and it went into a lot of detail about. Uh, what type of digestion they got, but the gist of it from what I could gather at least anyway is that most herbivores retain the ability to digest some meat and it is a residual of of uh, being able to digest milk when we are babies. So it doesn't matter how much of a herbivore you are, basically, as far as I can gather at least anyway, we do retain, or herbivores do retain some ability to digest meat and augment their diet into adulthood, and that is what we're seeing here. Well, that's what they think, at least, anyway. Ah, Faisal, you just asked if the hippos would feed on the meat or whether they actually feed on the tummy contents, the, what, the, what the animal's been eating. That is a very, very good question, Faisal. I would, from the study that James and I were reading, they feed on the meat. But what could be the draw card is the fact that these wildebeest have got a lot of fresh grass in their, in their rumen, and perhaps the smell to a hippo is irresistible, and that's what draws them in. Um, it's tough to say, Faisal, you know, even in the, 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 the papers that we, or the paper that we were reading, it, it said that this behavior was, was recorded, observed, but never witnessed by anyone that was doing the study. And this is the first time I've ever seen this particular action with my own eyes. You can see that hippo there. Definitely haven't got the right teeth for breaking open a carcass. Um, hippos have got these pig-like incisors in their bottom jaws and in their top jaws, and then they've got these massively enlarged canines, all with slicing parts, but not designed to slice open carcasses. They'd almost have to wait for crocodiles or 
the carcass to become so rotten, I think that it would break open on its own accord. However, I don't know how this wildebeest died, and I don't know what type of injuries it has uh, under the surface there. You can see the younger hippo now on the left-hand side making space for the slightly bigger, older hippo on the right. Still not moving off of the carcass and generating a lot of interest from hippos further downstream, as you can see the ones moving in. You know, right now they're not feeding on the carcass. But that definitely doesn't look like they want to have a game of catch with this wildebeest, that's for sure. You can see that one on the right hand side got his jaw right over the leg. Isn't this just the most amazing thing? Don't forget this is interactive. Please feel free to ask me questions on Twitter. This for me is about as new as it is for you to be quite honest with it. I, I, the only reason why I know a little bit more about this than you do at the moment is that I was very kindly sent a paper on hippos and one of the papers that we were sent dealt with, uh, with hippo apparently eating meat and it was just such an interesting topic that we we were reading it to each other here the other day now look at what they're doing licking it with that massive tongue isn't this the most weird thing obviously hippo use their lips to crop grass and so their lips are actually quite strong they'll use their tongue then to to pull the grass into their mouth underneath their rows of molars. They've got a very well-developed set of molars that, is, that starts in the back end of their mouth, basically where their, their, their mouth upturns. That's where the hippo's molars start and extend to just below and perhaps a little bit be, uh, behind their ears. So a very long molar set, Many molars, I don't exactly know what the dental structure of, there we go, look at those. You can see those peg-like teeth at the bottom with those enormous incisors, or canines at least anyway. Used only for defense, and they don't eat with those teeth at all. Those are just to protect each other, or actually to fight amongst one another. There's another one, look how wide my mouth is, look how big my teeth are. That's basically what message that is sent. I've got a bigger mouth than you. I've got bigger teeth than you. Please leave me alone. That is, that is all that that message says. It's a threat display more than anything else. And you probably find that these hippo are getting a little bit territorial over this carcass and that the bigger hippo wants to dominate this opportunity to get some food. Now, Perry, you just asked if, uh, if these hippo are trying to puzzle out how to get this carcass out of their territory. And that's also an interesting observation there, uh, Perry. I mean, I've obviously drawn my conclusion from the fact that um, I arrived, you know, probably prejudiced to the fact that I'm wanting to see hippo eating on a carcass. And I'm now seeing, seeing hippo mouthing a dead wildebeest and thinking to myself, ah, it must be the fact that they want to eat some of this thing. When it could very well be something else entirely and it's not out of the realms of possibility that they are trying to unbeach this carcass or at least trying to perhaps not in a perhaps not thinking of it exactly like that but perhaps trying to move this carcass further downstream or into the main flow of the river so right now inconclusive there Perry I you know your your observation is probably as good as mine at this point I have no I have no other clues to give to be honest Kola, you've made the comment that it, you know, or asked the question, could it be that they're contaminating the water? I, um, I'm not quite sure exactly what you mean by contaminating the water. Is it the hippo trying to contaminate the water, or are they trying to, trying to get, get rid of this uh, putrid carcass that's contaminating their pools? Um, I'll answer both questions, if I can, with the same answer. Hippo, are, they are able to really deal with the most horrifying water conditions that you've ever imagined in your life. Massive amounts of nitrates in the water, phase hippo hardly at all. And I can imagine that this flowing river is taking whatever, you know, whatever rancid stuff is coming out of that wildebeest and is pushing it downstream. And I don't think that where these hippo live in this pool, it's having much of an effect at all. So I don't think so. I don't think it's because they're wanting to move uh, uh, this carcass out of the way because it's making their swimming pool dirty. 
Um, I would imagine that it's just an investigation. That said, you know, hippo are very, very curious about things uh, outside of the water and anything new. They will quite often come and inspect things uh, quite, quite closely. Um, mainly, do you, mainly these dung posts that they have uh, adjacent to their paths that they walk. Hippo do not have any glands on their skin, any sebaceous glands or any, any glands of any sort that allow them to uh, leave a marker on, in their territory or where they're walking around. They only use dung. And for that reason, hippo are very curious about dung posts uh, that they spray. You can see this hippo center in the center, just starting to flap its tail and deposit some dung. Now they'll do that, the older the hippo, the more they'll do this on bushes and things like that. And, and almost every hippo that walks down that path will stop and actually investigate those posts quite intimately. And I, I think that it is, is, I think that it, it's their natural curiosity for something that's different that possibly led to this investigation of this carcass. You can see this one has now moved off completely. A day or two from now, if the water level doesn't rise and this carcass doesn't unbeach itself, the crocodiles will start to, um, start to tear into this carcass, I think. Might, might even see it today. But anyway, it looks like this uh, hippo has now moved off and it doesn't look like we're going to get any feeding on this carcass off at this time at least anyway. We're going to be manning these cameras obviously for the rest of the day and so if anything happens that is exciting we'll let you know either through the show or after the show through a Facebook Live notification. Anyway, we're going to see